Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I want to talk about can eating dietary fat reduce your own fat, your belly fat? Is that possible? It is possible, and in fact, I don't know of any other way to do it. Eating fat is a necessity. I don't think you'd be able to get rid of your belly fat without eating some fat, and I'm going to explain why. Most people have been taught that you have to eat less and move more to lose weight, to burn up the calories, right? And fat has the most calories, so therefore you have to work out really hard and avoid fat calories so you can burn it off. But let's take a look at, really, what is the trigger of the fat-burning hormones? And this is straight out of uh, Guyton's physiology. The, the main trigger to st stimulate fat burning is the lack of insulin, okay? That means you, you, the keeping insulin down to a normal level. That's what triggers fat burning. Not necessarily lowering calories. I know most of you have tried that and it hasn't worked. It's been proven not to work. It's just going to make you craving more, right? So it's really lack of insulin. So what does that mean? That means that you have to eliminate anything that triggers insulin. So there's an insulin scale, okay? And the foods on this insulin scale, and I'll put a, a link to the video down below on more data on insulin scale. But if you could actually understand what triggers insulin and you can avoid that, you can be very successful. So some of the things that you already know would be avoiding sugar, right? Um, but there's some other things too that you may not know, and that's eating too many frequent meals and snacking in between meals. That will also increase insulin. But the only thing that will not trigger insulin to any great degree would be fat. Fat is almost neutral when it comes down to insulin secretion. So, okay, so you got that, right? I'll put that to the side. I'll come back to that. Protein, we already know carbs increases insulin, but protein also will increase insulin, especially if it's low fat or lean. Okay, I have more data on the video down below, and this is probably new data to you. So if you do a lot of uh, whey protein or, or soy protein powders or anything that is a concentrated amino acid protein in large amounts, you're going to spike insulin. So if, we, so if we can't eat the carbs and we can't eat too much protein, what's left is fat. So if you consume fat with the protein, you buffer the protein spike with an uh, insulin spike. So for example, egg yolks. It's low on the list of insulin. Egg whites are high. If you have the whole egg, you can actually lower the insulin response. If you get chicken, don't get this chicken breast with the lean thing. Get the skin on it. That lowers the insulin scale. Some of you are going to disagree with this, but I'm just saying try it out for yourself to see that it does work. But if you go lean protein, you're stimulating the insulin, and you're going low fat, you have nothing to buffer the insulin. So you absolutely need the fat, especially at the meals, to, let you, to, to allow you to go longer without eating so you're not so hungry. Because as soon as you snack, you spike insulin. This gives a whole new shift of focus on what to put your attention on, which is basically just avoiding insulin. And if you do this, you will lose weight. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that um, are doing this and getting really good success rate. So I want you to try it out. It's a new concept and see if it works for you. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.